Hi everybody, my name is Sarah and welcome to the sketchbook flip through. Um, this is going to be a look through my finished sketchbook. I started this last April. It was from Barnes and Noble. I have no many, no many, no idea how many pages are in it. So let's get started. Cover sheet. This was the very first drawing, obviously. It's from April 27th. 2018. This was for the Island Paradise prompt that Casey Golden did. This is me laying on my bed with some of my favorite things. My knitting, my laptop, um, my sketchbook, this one in fact, before it had any stickers on it. Um, my watercolors, my writing notebook, and Tomi Adeyemi's um, Of Children, Blood and Bone, which was the book I was reading at the time. So it's kind of like me floating in the ocean, almost. Then we have a character from May 8th, 2018. Um, it was just a main character sketch for a book that I was working on at the time. And then we have this that says, you have a piece of deity in you. Um, this was the idea, or was created, this idea was created while I was watching a Kellyanne Maddox video. I will link to her channel. Um, this isn't necessarily a religious or spiritual piece. It's more of just reminding whoever sees this painting of their inner strength. I did this in Ohuhu markers, I believe, as was the first one. This is a um, collage of different women from, from magazines. Some of them are famous, some of them are models, some of them are both, some of them are athletes, you know, just whatever at the, you know, whatever I could find that was interesting to me. Some She's a scientist, I believe. This lady's just kind of looking at Lupita her muse, because I think Lupita's really pretty. Um, yeah, so that's that. I actually finished this only a couple weeks ago because I started it and then I never finished it. And then I drew on the last page and it's kind of like, well, I better go back and finish that. So I have, you know, a full collage. And I didn't do any more of these in this book, but I would like to do more of these in the future. Maybe not entirely just different pictures of women, but maybe one and then dra drawings around it. Yeah. So we have the first in a series of three different pages of the American Sign Language alphabet. So we have A, B, C, D, E. What is it? F? No, F's this. I always get F and D mixed up. E, F, G, H, I, J. And there are two more of these that encompass the whole alphabet. This was just me practicing um, drawing hands. And I was thinking I might like to... Um, create prints out of this in the future, but I'm not sure whether I would want to watercolor them first or perhaps just leave them as sketches or ink them. So if you have any thoughts on what I might do to this and what you might think look cool, let me know. I'd love to experiment a little bit because I really enjoyed doing this. And if you want to practice hands, this is something I'd recommend because everybody should know at least some American Sign Language. This is the only time I used watercolor in this sketchbook. This was for another Casey Golden prompt. As you can see, the paper didn't really handle it well, and it was a nice experiment, but definitely not going to happen again. And now we have a drawing of the YouTuber Shane Dawson, also done with Ohuhu markers. Um, I watched like probably 50 of his videos in like two days and then got sick of them and haven't watched any since, but... That's what this is. This was from 523.18. Here's the second page. So we have K, L, well, more like this, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R. And I know a little American Sign Language beyond fingerspelling, and it's something I would really like to, um, really like to know more of, but that's on my list of things to do. And we have Millie Bobby Brown as 11 from Stranger Things, 6'4". This isn't a very good sketch. I This is something if I were to revisit it now, I'd do a lot differently, but that's where I was at the time. I remember at the time not being satisfied with this either, but if I remember correctly, I was re-watching Stranger Things. So here we have just a bunch of things that I saw during the day, kind of a journal thing this is from 613. And I think some of these are going to be out of order, um, these next few pages, because I went back and drew on the opposite side since I was sketching in pen. That was my kitty Persephone. I miss her so much. I'm um, drawing lips, mantle, jug on the mantle, a ruler, someone I follow on YouTube, or not YouTube, Instagram. I'm um, drawing someone who has paintbrush hair, which you'll see I had actually drawn once before, but further on in the book. 
And then we have another day kind of in sketches. So this was June 5th. So I wore a bow tie, my feet, which I draw my feet, not a lot, but with some regularity because I control them. They're not gonna fly away. Like if I'm painting a bird, they're not gonna move. Um, they're far enough away that they're easy to see. You know, they just kind of make a decent um, model if I'm not sure what to draw. Then we have a basket, rocking chair, jug, and a picture. All those things are in my living room. So I was probably sitting on my mom's couch drawing. <laughs> Um, and that's a picture of my stepdad's mom that I drew from across the room. So it's not very accurate. And I wasn't actually sure who it was when I drew it because I couldn't see it very well. But that was fun. And then we have, this is 6-6. Six, six, so drawing of me, Hatch by Casey Golden. Me trying to figure out some OCs that I never did figure out. Um, probably that remind me of Calvin and Hobbes. Jar of soap. Blocks. Um, nail polish remover, which... It says this one is like magic, so I must have gotten a new nail polish remover. The Demogorgon all the way down here. Um, seashore, just a bunch of stuff. And then we have a sketch for a Casey Golden prompt. Um, this was 6-8 and Snake and Pretzel, although I think it was actually Pretzel and Newspaper, which I left the newspaper part out, apparently. And you can see this painting in the watercolor sketchbook flip through I did. We have um, from 6, 16, 18, so I think we're back in order. This is stuff for characters, so I'm not gonna talk about that too much. For books I'm working on, me just kind of designing them and writing about their motivation. This is June 16th in sketches. So some mala beads, I got a new laptop um, battery, Discord, it looks like. He reminds me of a hermit crab. Feels like there's so many bugs because it was hot and my mom's house doesn't have air conditioning. Litter box of doom. Um, my cat was ill at the time, so cleaning her litter box was not fun. Um, lots of writing, mac and cheese for supper, queer rainbow Polaroid watch for $1. Uh, it says, I don't know if it works, but it does indeed work. Um, I bought and watched Legos and not Legos today. So it looks like I went to a yard sale that day. I think I remember that. And then. Filmed a book review, Casey Golden's face that I drew, or her icon's face, rather. Um, no idea what I cut myself on, so I must have cut myself on something that day. Smartphone, which was new. Why? Frustrated, because F you, that's why. Um, probably frustrated about the character stuff. And then we have June 17th in sketches, which was Father's Day, I remember. Um in the US, so grocery shopping was horrid. I, If I remember correctly, I ran into an old lady and hit her ankle really bad, and I felt so bad about it, but I think she was okay in the end, but it was very crowded because it was a holiday. And then we have no poop. Um, my cat didn't poop on the floor, and I was happy about that. I That was, yeah. Then we have tofu, did the prompt, um, caper and the Castro stuff. I was playing that, playing that video game at the time for a Pride Month, um, episode which you can go find if you like and then we have fraps won't record browser windows but obs will and i paid forty dollars so i paid forty dollars for fraps it didn't work and i switched to obs which i needed for the video then tomato i probably got one out of the garden we have june 18th and sketches i guess so we have sage rosemary oregano and i want a prompt book I've watched like 20 of them now. Um, yarn Nerd, that looks like a skein of yarn, or it's supposed to be mint background. Um, it smells like the creek out here. So this is when I was little, we had a cabin, and this is where what you could see when you went down to the creek. So I guess wherever I was sitting, it smelled like the creek. And then we have 61918, which was me, I think, mostly going through National Geographic magazine and drawing every hand I saw. Um, so people holding things, someone ringing a doorbell. This was my hand. This was a picture I posted on Instagram of me holding a tarot card. But like most of this stuff is from National Geographic. And this is from 620. It says Stevani, um, Pride Month Marathon. So this was for the Pride series I did last June. And I drew a picture of the character Stevani from Steven Universe. And this was like the sketch planning it out. And then we have 622, more hands, mostly Iron Man hands. So it looks like I was watching Iron Man 1. So that's Tony's hand, probably his hand or somebody else's. Just a hand, my hand, fight the power, I guess. I was drawing a fist. Then we have 624. It looks like I had just gotten a new set of colored pencils. So I was trying out different things. Lego, Legos, um, Overwatch. That might be Overwatch, I'm not sure. That's a Lego. 
So my guess is I was spending some time with Julia um, during this. I'm pretty sure because that's, yeah. Then we have 625. This person's just kind of waiting impatiently. I don't know for what. Then we have 626. So a Lego. Lego hands are so easy. A face. More Legos. Macaroni and cheese. More Legos. Song lyrics. So just me sketching combination of pen and pencil. And then we have 62718. These are different characters from the video game Yakuza Kiwami. Julia and I were watching a playthrough um, from one of the streamers we enjoy watching, and I drew the characters. We have Kiryu Kazuma, he's the main character, and then we have Goro Majima, Haruka, and Arika Nishiki, Nishikiyama. Ar Arika Nishikiyama, yeah. So that's kind of funny to look back on now. Um, it's a good good experience drawing faces. I don't really draw faces in the same way anymore. It's really interesting to get to see myself progress through the sketchbook. I'm glad I'm doing this. And then we have 63018. I was swatching it looks like crayons maybe or more colored pencils. This says silly songs with Larry. Based on that and this here, I knew exactly what was going on in this. Oh my gosh. This was the day I went to the beach with my mother, stepfather, and two nieces. It was a probably four hour ride and my two nieces at the time they were aged six and three I believe or six and four and they sang Veggie Tales for all four hours. So that's why it says Silly Songs with Larry and that is a wagon that we used while we were at the beach. And then we skip ahead to, I don't, I'm not going to turn this because I don't think I can fit it. This is 7, 6, 18. This was when my cat was very ill, so I guess I'll put in a warning for, a trigger warning for that. Um, but I won't read what I wrote. It was kind of personal and I was just really upset. She was laying on my bed and this was, it kind of helped me understand that her time to, her life was coming to an end, we needed to do something, and she did not live much longer after this, um, this sketch. If I go look, I think I can find a picture I took of her in this position. I'll go find it real quick. Okay, so this isn't completely focused, and it's not the best picture ever, but that was her snuggling on my bed with me in the position that this picture was taken in. So yeah, it's kind of sad, but it was also something I'm really glad I did just because it really helped me process what was going on. So don't be afraid to draw things that are sad that you're feeling because it can be very helpful to express those feelings and process them. Okay, so next we have another Casey Golden prompt. This is, I believe it was car keys and coffee. So we have someone holding a massive cup of coffee, and then we have some car keys, so key fob, car key, house key, and a keychain, which is actually the Buy Pride symbol. So yeah, just a little sketch for that. And then we have the corner of my art slash knitting alcove at my mother's house in my room there. From 7 11, 18, we have a jar full of yarn scraps, my cutting board, which you might have seen in some of my videos. Um, just more jars and stuff, just different things that you see around my room. And then we have just some sketches. It says 6, 17, 18, but my guess is it's 7, 17, 18. I didn't jump ahead, you know. So we have Black Eyed Seasons in the Rain, Porch Swing, Driftwood, Citronella Candle. This says Through the Window. Um, I was looking in the window at my mom while she was getting ready for work, so she was ironing probably her skirt or a blouse or something. And then we have 72318, which was, I was at Dunkin' Donuts, probably because it was very, very hot out and I wanted some faster internet and some air conditioning. So this is just, you know, kind of what you could see at Dunkin'. Um, that was probably hibiscus tea. I really liked hibiscus tea. Yeah. And then we have a drawing sketch that became a speed paint, actually. I can link to that. It was episode 25 of Welcome to Night Vale, and this is probably actually what I was working on while I was at Duncan before I drew that, you know, just kind of filled that page with sketches. So yeah, this turned out really cute. I will um, link to that. And then we have a um, person just kind of turning around a little bit, not very well, but then we have some sort of game 
console controller here. I don't really know what it is. I didn't really grow up with video games, so my knowledge is kind of sketchy. We have boxing gloves, roller skates, and a very angry mushroom. And then we have 810, so this is August. We have um, a mountain scene, um, even though it was August, apparently things were getting spooky already. We have like a kitchen where they're baking. We've got cat footprints, um, rolling pins, some butter, um, icing, eggs, a whisk, that sort of thing. Then we have Julia's leggies, which probably was because I was visiting her and she was building with Legos. It looks like she's holding one. Um, and I was just sketching while she did that, which is why you'll find a lot of Legos in this sketchbook because she really enjoys Legos. And then we have the, what I think is the first sketch I did in this apartment. It is of a little penguin plush toy that Mitt lost an eye or something and it was replaced. This was a Casey Golden prompt as well. And then we have, I hope you can see this all right. We have another Casey Golden prompt. This is 82218. So we are definitely moved in here by now. And it's a unicorn who stole a hat from a pirate. And now we have another page that's actually kind of censored um, because these people both have cis female looking breasts. So even though I think neither of them are female, if I remember correctly, um, this one says sleepy envy. So this person's non-binary, this person's trans mask. I'm not sure, but this is from 824 and I was just drawing people. And then I don't know who this person is here, but for some reason it really reminds me of Mabel from Gravity Falls, the character, but she has short hair. So yeah, very 90s looking sweatshirt. And then we have another page with watercolor on it, and I did the watercolor on these two figures for the same reason I did it on the other page, that being I didn't want the pencil to smudge. So there technically is a little more watercolor in this sketchbook, but I didn't do it to like make it look pretty, it was more so just to protect it. So we have a character here who's very fluffy and round that says I really like her and then I don't know muscles and this is just a very beefy person um, and then we have the locking mechanism of a gun case I needed to understand that for a story and I was draw trying to draw it out so I could understand it and then we have a sticky note with a bird on it very stylized bird let's see what's underneath it if I can get my fingers under there oh there we go Oh, that's terrifying. We're not looking at that. And we have 9-9, 9-10, and 9-12. These look like different characters. This person, these look like I was experimenting with making characters out of certain shapes. This person's very round, like almost like rectangles, but with the corners rounded off. I'm seeing a lot of that same shape here and here, you know, and even in her legs. Very round and soft looking. And we have this person who's all angles and it says Bing Pot, which I think is what Jake Peralta says on Brooklyn Nine-Nine. So that's probably why I wrote that because we watched that. Um, then we have a Tumblr tutorial. We're just talking about the placement of eyes on a face can change the age or like the perceived age of a character. I drew a baseball hat and this person's just all ovals with their eyes, their nose, their face, their hair, everything. So that's that. And then we have, this is a dresser that I keep my yarn in. It's not really a dresser dresser, it's more of just like a cubby cupboard and I was going to draw it in a little knickknacks I have on top. But I didn't get very far and then I never finished it. Then we have on 930 it says Miriam Tilson. That's not a very good drawing of her, but she's a lovely artist who is also here on YouTube and she does art videos. We have 1010. It looks like I was designing some bags maybe for like tarot decks or something. And this was obviously during October, it was during October. So I, that's probably why I came back to this page to sketch. I needed some room and I didn't want to interrupt my other sketches. So then we have a page about Yetis. Um, if I remember correctly, this was inspired by the drawing with waffles. Her video she did where it was like her Instagram followers, um, you know, control what she draws, and she ended up drawing a Yeti, and this was my, like, Yeti that I designed. I wanted to draw a Yeti. So if you pause here, you can learn about my Yetis. <laughs> and then we have 
some hands. This was just me practicing. You have one, two, three, four, five. It says four shortened. So five, six, seven. Oh, I don't know where eight is. Eight, nine, and I think that's it. And then we go to here. This was when I um, first started getting into doll design, I think, and customization. Because if I remember correctly, I was kind of just drawing a doll face and like trying to figure out what proportions the Monster High dolls had and like just drawing them turning. And I didn't really get very far with that. Mm -hmm. I just, I don't know, I, I find it easier to understand that by looking at the heads because they're 3D and drawings are 2D, obviously. So I didn't get very far with that, but it just, it didn't, it wasn't very helpful. And then we have a page here where this sketch here made me think of Violet from The Incredibles, so I started drawing her. And I think the only things I actually used references for was this picture and the insignia down here. But I think it turned out alright. This was originally going to be a video and it just never really... I think I filmed it, but it just... Too much time had passed between the time I filmed it and by the time I had a chance to record a voiceover for it. So it just kind of stayed as is. We have more doll designing things, me trying to plan out a sweater and a skirt. So that's all this is knitting stuff. I wouldn't necessarily recommend following this, but you can try. Um, and that was me tracing a Monster High doll. And you can tell their proportions are kind of messed up, kind of. And then we flip to Inktober and I am actually going to skip past this because there is a whole video dedicated to Inktober and I am not going to take the time to do that here because this video would be an hour long, but I will link to that video if you're interested. All right, and then the next thing we have, this was our plan for our pumpkin we carved, which if you saw the vlog that went with it, which I can link to that too, we didn't actually go with the trans pride symbol because while we take pumpkin carving very seriously, we didn't quite have the skill to do this. This is what we initially, my girlfriend and I planned, but we ended up going with a very cute kitty face. And this is October 10th, 2018. This was me designing an outfit for a doll. It says Lila's fall outfit. And it's pretty close to what her outfit ended up looking like. And we have 11, 11, 18. This was when I was introduced to Deltarune or right around then. So you can see Susie, who you might know, I just did a video on her outfit. And then we have Ralsei, who you can see his, his feet are feet rather than hooves here. And we have Chris, who will be the next one I do. And I already did Ralsei. And then we have 12, 9, 18. This was me just, I copied this picture off of the internet, like not like tracing, but like I used it as reference. And then I drew the person using this as reference rather than the actual picture. And I think I ended up liking this better than this. But then I focused on the hands and drew her hands and the sword. And then we have her face here and I really didn't like it and I still don't like it. I've struggled with faces for quite a while. But you can see I'm getting better at hands at the very least. And then we have, these were just some, I took um, the user like pictures, icons of some people I follow on Twitter and tried to draw them as people. And I think Bibliogatos turned out really well. I think their their self-portrait turned out pretty well. This is also 12 9, 18 as is the other one. And this one's Miss Dalai Lama and like, while I can recognize her by looking at this, I think that's really only because I saw the actual picture first. Okay, so we have, she found a buried treasure map in her new tree house. This is 12, 16, 17, by the way. So we have this little girl, and then we have first day at new high school, so I guess she moved again. And then you have, it's really not a phase, she's all goth. And then we have her up here as a goth old grand grandmother old lady. It says, I really do love my grandkids. And then we have... I was trying inking with a quill pen that I had just bought. It says Lena Knits, who's this person here. And then this is Knitlib, who I drew a bit bigger once I was feeling more confident. And these are both knitting podcasters that I follow, and I think they're pretty great, and I can link to them. We have planning the Ralsei doll outfit from 12 23 18. So that was that. You can pause it if you want and read about. Um, 
process if you want. I didn't follow all of this. And we have a terrifying picture of my girlfriend that I didn't draw very well. So we're skipping that. And then we have some just some doodles I did at my girlfriend's parents' house over Christmas. Her father was watching um, survivalist Alaska extreme shows, and so this is one person's from that. They have a painting of a mounted deer head, and I sketched out the deer from the painting. And then we have a hand and some sort of, it looks like a necklace maybe, I'm not sure. And then that's probably my girlfriend. And we have 1319, and we're finally into this year. We have a bunny that's creepy, cute, or both. I think both. A hand, some stars, some ice cream, a very excited cat, sword, more ice cream, and a hand. And then we have from 1518, a little bat girl, and she's singing um, a can of what was probably Dr. Pepper or maybe Coke. Um, sort of emo kid. It says Lasai. Like, you know. A fist, a hand, the flying evil hand, the claw, you know, from Toy Story. That's what it made me think of. And then we have my camp Little Moose, Sona. We were watching a Scooby-Doo movie with one of my friends, or our friends rather, and this was the camper I drew. Supposed to look like me as a kid, what I would have looked like if I went to that camp. Note all the bug bites and band-aids. And then we have 1819. This was me just Googling pictures of women on the internet. So we had a girl from an article about not shaving your armpits. Um, I think this one was about being something about professional workplace business, I something. And then this was Emma Watson, which I think it kind of looks like her, but not really. So meh, successful drawing a face, but it doesn't look like her, so not that successful. And then we have 1918, which is more people I found on the internet, not all women this time though. This is the only one that's like, a, I mean, they're all real people, but you know, only like supposed to look like a person. This is Howie Mandel, maybe Pitbull. I remember when I first saw the picture, I thought he was Pitbull at first. I totally forgot Howie Mandel existed. So yeah, I think the best part of him is his shirt and hand. I don't really like his face. This kid turned out really cute though. He had bright red hair. I think the, the angle on this one turned out pretty nice too. And we have one eleven eighteen, which is, I drew Nerdy Crafter. She has a YouTube channel in here, but I'm not a huge fan of her anymore. So yeah. And then we have a hand doing something. I'm not really sure what. We have wallet and then it's written wallet under underneath it in Spanish. So billete and then coin purse monadero, which is also Spanish for coin purse. And then we have... Um, ball of yarn, just a little doodle, a needle on a string, I don't know what that's from, and a very stylized cat face. Um, I think this was right after the, the latest Anna skin had just come out, um, the Bast one, which is cat themed, and I was just drawing a stylized cat because of that. And then we have 112.19, and this is actually drawing with waffles, she drew her dog, and I was watching that video and I wanted to sketch something and I didn't really want to sketch a dog. So I drew her dog as a person. So I don't know how accurate that is and whether she'd agree with it or not, but it's cute and I like it and they're wearing the same bandana as her dog was. And we have Sinister Silk, kind of, from 11919 and this is from a cover of a magazine, or not a magazine, a comic book. I actually have this comic book, but this was a picture from the internet that I was just trying to mimic. We have one 2019. This was after we watched the older Scooby-Doo movie called Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost. It was a movie that scared the crap out of me as a kid, but I really enjoyed watching it again now as an adult. It was kind of cringy. Um, their stuff on Wicca really isn't accurate, but it was still in all good fun. And in the movie, there is a band called the Hex Girls. So I kind of drew my Hex Sona. Um, so if I was in this band, what I would look like, it's, they are a genre they called Eco Geek, which is actually something inspired or created by Scooby-Doo. Like I was Googling it to look and see if it was a real thing. And apparently it is, but only because of this movie. So that is my Hex, or not Eco Geek, it's Eco Goth, excuse me. Um, so that's my Hex Sona. I like to draw things that relate to the movies when we're watching them. Not always like scenes from the movie, but if I was in the movie, what I would look like, I guess. And then we have another Casey Golden prompt. Can't get away from them. 
we have this was art gallery so you can see it's like you're looking out at a person through a painting or you are the painting maybe so the art gallery is the whole thing and then you have bow and arrow which was the other part of the prompt which i really enjoyed kind of took the took the piss out of it a little bit and then we have 12919 this is just a bunch of hands i drew from the internet from like sets of like nine i think it was a grid of nine hands i found two of them and just drew this was a person I found on the internet that I drew, um, a ballet dancer, I think. And this was a woman um, holding her newborn child. And I think this was part of some sort of art installation or photography exhibit. And I have the information down here. So you can pause if you're interested in looking it up. And I just have the mother censored just because I know YouTube is not a fan of breasts or crotches. So then we have a vampire down here as well. Just a cartoon one, nothing from... She was very bored. Nothing from like a, what do you call it? A reference. And we have more hands without reference, with reference. And these are probably all with some sort of reference, whether it was just my hand doing something or something I looked up. So 13019, another can of either Dr. Pepper or Coke, a nose, could be my nose. My nose has that shape a bit. Um, and then stylized cats. And there's no date here, but I would assume this is towards the beginning of February, maybe end of end of January. And there's a giant olive. And the first time I recorded this, it was sadly out of focus, so I'm redoing it now. I couldn't remember what this giant olive is from, but I just remembered. We were watching The Good Place, one of the more recent episodes, and there were olives involved. And at one point, there was a giant olive. So that's what that's from. So, kitties. I really like how they turned out. I don't know if I'll ever use this like style of cat for anything, but we shall see. We have 13119, and these were just some things from life. Um, this is Lynn Cox. She is the first person, I think, or yeah, the first person to swim the Bering Strait, and she has done other amazing swimming feats, and this was just a picture of her on the internet that I copied over. I didn't really do any shading because I was intimidated by it, but I would definitely look her up if you're into that sort of thing. It was pretty cool. And this is the getting over it. Um, it's a video game about a man stuck in a pot and he climb mountains of trash. It's kind of just like a game of frustration. So that's that character. Um, it's kind of erased because the graphite was getting everywhere. So I just kind of rolled my eraser over it. Then we have a little gnome that sits and guards my windowsill garden with her partner in crime. This is her. I knitted her. She doesn't have a face, but she's really cute. And then this was me just kind of drawing her as if she was like an illustrative character. And then we have um, the hourly comic day, which I'm going to skip over as well because there is a video about it that I can link to and my battery is kind of dying. So then we have my first time trying out Colorace um, marker, or not markers, pencils on 2219 and she's covered up because breasts and crotch again. And she's some sort of siren. I'm not really sure why she has a nose because it looks like she has gills, but it's a very, like, the Shape of Water-esque creature. I don't know. I haven't seen that movie yet, but it's on my list. So that's that. And then we have a little, like, dryad or something. Some sort of, like, tree spirit. And I drew her here, whole body, and then I moved on to what was supposed to be a closer-up picture. And I just didn't really like how she turned out, so I kind of abandoned her halfway through. And then we have Brigid, who is a Celtic goddess, I believe. And I tried to draw her with lots of different things that she's associated with. So I will read them off quickly. She is considered a solar goddess. She embodies the element of fire. She's often depicted with rays of light or fire cutting from her head, which is this. Fires of hearth, inspiration, and forge. So hearth, the really the only way I could think of to depict inspiration was through art or music. So there's a Celtic drum and a anvil for forge. And it says healing, fertility, poetry, and music. So of course, music up there again, prophecy and agriculture. So this is a plant that can be used to cause um, abortion, at least according to folklore and history. I don't know whether that's completely accurate or not. A lot of herbalism knowledge has been lost, sadly, to time. 
So that's what that is. And it also says Smithcraft, which again is the forge or the anvil, and Goddess of the Well, which was also representative of the womb leading back into fertility. So she's holding a bucket that she drew water from the well with. And her outfit is kind of loosely based on different historical Celtic clothing that I found. And I'm not too, too satisfied with her. I don't, I think my biggest thing with her is I don't really like her face and her simplistic style. And I would like to revisit her, and I think I will in the future. And I really, really like the idea, at least. I'm glad I got it down on paper to hold on to it. And then we have a Skillshare class where I was learning to draw a face in a certain style. And then down here was from another Skillshare class where I was kind of, you know, looking at something and drawing it without lifting my pencil from the paper or looking at my paper. So we have a salt shaker, a TV, and dish soap. And we have more Skillshare stuff, different tones. We have cross hatching or cross shading and shadows and the final project, which was a still life. And then we have 2819, which was just doodles. We have a cup, um, trying that face again, um, my pencil sharpener. And then we have my Lego Sona, which I drew on 21219. This was the sketch that turned into the video I did, which I will link to. Um, I really like how the sketch turned out. I think it's really cute. And I like how the final drawing came out as well. And then this is one of the final pages in this book. I think it's the second to last, maybe. And this was the sketch for the I am non-binary um, painting that I did, and I did a video on it. So this was the original sketch, and I will link to that as well. And then we have just one little page that was going to be full of doll illustration ideas. Not illustrations, but like ideas for clothes to kind of have like a forest princess lady here. And what I ended up doing with this doll is very different. She turned into kind of like a contemporary fairy rather than like a princess. So there's that. And then we have the final page of American Sign Language finger spelling. So we have S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, and Z. So. There's that. I'll let you take a good look at that without my hand in the way. And then the very last page is 22319. And this was me seeing if I could draw um, like dynamic poses or like rather than just standing straight up um, with the style I was developing. So I used pictures from a knitting pattern. I used the L.L. Bean Fall 2018 cover here. And I think that's turned out really nice. It's, Actually really detailed and I erased some of it because the graphite was getting everywhere, but you can still see it. And then cat. I'm trying to figure out the basic shapes of a cat so I could draw one. And that is it. And I could have technically drawn on the back cover, but I didn't. And you can see that a lot of the pages I didn't draw on the back, but yeah. So that's it. I am really glad I went through this with all of you. I enjoyed it immensely. Um, the little gnome says, goodbye. <laughs> Um, so be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope that I can create more drawings and content that you all enjoy, and I hope that all of you have a marvelous day. Bye!